So hi, and um, welcome to our interview with Patrick Gaffey, who is the winner of the Transplant Sport Travelling Scholarship to Perth, Australia. Um, hi, Paddy, welcome to the interview. Um, you, must be really, you must be really excited at the moment and a massive congratulations from, from all of us. Yeah, it's very well deserved. Um, so how did you feel when you got the call from the CEO of the society? Yeah, really good, really good. I was surprised. Um, and obviously really grateful when I got the call from Sally. So obviously going through that uh, application process was a bit nerve wracking um, and the interviews, which are, which are always nerve wracking anyway. Um, but no, everyone made me feel really welcome. Um, but yeah, when I got the call, I was really excited to, to get started really and proud of myself. Absolutely. Yeah, you must have done really well. Um, there was quite a lot of applicants, um, so you must have stood out. Um, so obviously really, really well done on that. Um, but first of all, can you just tell us a bit about yourself? So what kind of fields have you been working in since you graduated from Hartbury University? So since graduating, I've um, tried to expose myself to as many sort of experiences as I can, really. So um, when I graduated in 2020 down in Gloucester, um, we graduated into lockdown. Uh, so I moved back up north uh, to Lancashire and spent a few months, obviously, sat in lockdown like everyone else. Um, did some online courses and stuff and then when we came out of lockdown uh, I just approached a local clinic uh, which is mainly like a podiatrist clinic and just said can I use your room upstairs nearly graduate sports therapist and they said yeah good so uh, I spent quite a few months trying to build up a business there and then from that sort of making contacts and stuff um, I got a job in a private school um, where I work at the minute as well um, and then from that, again, networking and speaking to people, uh, I got a job with a company um, called Official Sports Services, and they provide therapists to uh, elite sporting teams as well. So since graduating, I've worked uh, in a few elite sporting environments as well uh, with uh, international rugby teams, professional football teams, professional cricket teams as well. Um, at the minute, I, I work um, out of the private school a day a week I work in my own clinic one day a week and then I'm juggling my time between the women's professional football club and uh the rugby league world cup that's going on at the minute wow so you actually got quite a wide variety of things that you're involved in haven't you lots of different sports lots of different levels and then obviously your clinical work as well I imagine you see other types of clients and patients so yeah really really full-on um sounds really interesting um so what inspires you to apply for this scholarship then? Um, originally or initially, it was just a new experience of I'm still uh, being two years postgraduate. Um, I feel like there's still so much more to learn and so many more experiences that I can dive into um, to create more of a broader um, scope as a therapist. So it was one, the experience of working with uh, a different type of athletes who have a different uh, story, different lifestyle, and uh, working with other professionals in a different environment as well, as well as in a completely different area of the world that I've never been to. Um, so that was a massive um, sort of bonus as well, um, hopefully going obviously down to Perth. So uh, that was initially what sort of um, interested me um and then obviously to help my development as a therapist and gain confidence in myself um as well so um myself and my skill set uh sometimes especially when you're working in a private clinic on your own uh, it's sometimes nice to get that reminder of you know what you're doing is is the right thing and um so yeah it's a confidence builder as well Absolutely. And I mean, I think, as you said, you know, we're constantly learning as graduate sports therapists that, you know, we learn every day, we're trying to expose ourselves to as much, but as you say, learning opportunities that we can. Mm. So uh, that's like absolutely the right plan. Um, and I'm just really pleased that you kind of get this opportunity to travel and, you know, work in a completely sort of different aspect, really. So, I mean, I have I've been to the transplant games myself, and um, so I've seen kind of what it's like. Um, and just from my perspective, just what I took away was how grateful they are and like so sincere in the support they receive. Um, and it's just amazing, really, just to think about everything they've been through 
and they're still competing in sports it's yeah. just it's just it really is inspiring so i really do like that word when when we start talking about transplant sport that's probably one of the key words i always use as i just think you know it, as a sports therapist to work with them as well it's just an amazing experience so yeah. for you to go and do that in australia on the world stage you know representing the society it's just going to be so so amazing for you so i'm really i really hope you enjoy it um so you're going to be working as part of the gb therapy team so that will incorporate um other therapists um, yes. and other professionals in the in the mdt there um but what excites you most about being part of that that gb therapy team um firstly it was um an email from allison uh Boxham, uh, that she sent me the other day and she said it's the first time ever that uh, a therapy team, the therapy team in Perth will be sports therapy led. So it's quite exciting now that as a, uh, a graduate sports therapist, um, we're now uh, recognised on that international stage, um, which is really exciting. Um, and also, like you just mentioned there, to work with inspiring people who've come across some really difficult challenges, but everyone's there with a common goal of competing and competing is quite an important world word as well obviously it's going to have that competitive edge but obviously everyone's there for the common goal um and also to encourage people to get involved in transplant sport and just raise the awareness of it as well um so that sort of excitement uh, side of things um and also just really appreciate the fact that the sst have given the opportunity um not only to people like me like graduates who can then go and work in that environment um obviously i'm aware that a lot of the therapy team uh, have, are doing a lot of fundraising at the minute and having the sst there to provide the scholarship program where not only like i've just mentioned i'm getting an opportunity but transplant sports getting an opportunity to have another therapist there thanks to the sst providing that um and also like i've just mentioned the sst getting that uh, recognition on that international stage once again is is really promising from all all the um, areas yeah absolutely and obviously you said about the SST providing funding for you for you now to be to be going and supporting those um, athletes as well um, they also offer uh, the funding for some more medical equipment that you can obviously be using over there which you're going to need um, so we're just hoping that really we can offer the support you know there are chosen charity they have been for the last three years yes. um, and the society is really really proud to be working uh, alongside transplant sport um so yeah i think as you said with it being sports therapists within this uh, therapy team it's, it's a fantastic opportunity for us um and also you'll be able to learn from from others like others that have been there before um i imagine you'll be looking to pick up as much as you can from other mdt professionals as well yeah um, and then you can you'll obviously be looking to learn a bit more about what's happened to the athletes in terms of their transplant stories um, and any sort of adaptations to practice you might might need to think about so I'm sure there's there's quite a lot there that you're looking forward to. to yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like going back to you saying um, everybody's got an individual story. Everyone's story will be different. I think that's an exciting opportunity is to expose myself to completely different stories every day um, within that time period, um, which will help me grow as a therapist and give me a wider, uh, to open my eyes a little bit. Um, so that when I come back, I can obviously implement that into the work that I'm doing at the minute as well. And obviously improve myself as a person as well as a therapist. So, Absolutely. You're still young. You've got lots to lots to learn and lots of experience to absorb. So totally agree with you there. But, um, OK, so just coming on to our sort of final question here. So you'll be representing the society while you're out there. You'll be working as a mm -hmm. graduate sports therapist. Um, so based on everything you've learned so far kind of your when you've been doing a bit of research about transplant sport and transplant athletes what would you say to another sst member who might be considering kind of getting involved in this field and, and working with transplant athletes so first impressions is everyone's so positive and so nice and welcoming um everyone gives off a vibe that's really supportive 
Um, and it seems like everyone has a little bit more understanding of the fact that everyone's different, everyone's got a different story. So um, when we've had conversations as a therapy team, you can already tell that there's a, a, a wide variety of um, people from all different backgrounds that have, have come together again like I mentioned with a common goal of as a therapy team providing a service to people who have had challenging situations in in the past and they're now making that into a massive positive so as a, a graduate sports therapist um, it's opened my eyes um, to a different side of sport uh, we've got recreational sport elite sport and by the sounds of it it's sort of like a merge of that where people are competing uh, and representing their country um, but there's that fun element to it as well and that celebration of life life element so to a someone who maybe like me before I uh, applied for it didn't know much about transplant sport it's it's something that's um, really sort of like opened my eyes to a different side of sport as well um, and I'd recommend it so far of what I've seen um, I'm really looking forward to it uh, and everyone's been so nice Great, honestly, it's really <laughs> lovely to hear. And as I said, we're, we're really hoping that you have an, the most amazing experience while you're out there. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll ask you that question when you come back. So yeah. that one yeah. be, when you come back, we'll ask you that question again and we'll, we'll see how, you've, um, how your experience has developed your opinions on that. But um, yeah, we're really excited that obviously this is an opportunity for you. But it's also an opportunity for um, other SST members in the future um, hopefully this will become a really popular avenue um, and we can successfully support all those transplant athletes that, that have been through so much but yeah I mean yeah, on, yeah just just on a final note really as I said um, you know you're going to be you're going to be hearing lots of stories from these transplant athletes they're going to have lots of different backgrounds um, and a lot of them they tend to do it for their donors so um, they're, they're just so grateful for that that mm. second opportunity of life and, and I think you're going to have an amazing time experiencing all of that as well so well we hope you have have the best time ever and um, we'll look forward to hearing more from you when you get back thank you very much I appreciate uh, it thank you <laughs>